Good afternoon everyone, Kira and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today, we are going to continue on where we left the last time. We have done the 2020 NCA Level 1 Chance and Data Question 1 and today we'll be looking at Question 2. So let's go. So we shall read the first question. The Question 2, humpback whales are found in ocean and seas around the world. The graph compares the weight of a random sample of male and female humpback whales measured in kilogram. The data has been collected from humpback whales found on the west coast of New Zealand during spring in 2019. So this is a box and whiskers graph and this is used to compare one numerical against one categorical variable. So we have the female on the top part and the male at the bottom graph. So the numbers on the left are all the statistics, okay? You have the minimum, the lower quartile, the median, the mean, upper quartile, maximum and minimum for both the female and the male. So let's go and tackle the question now. Okay, so the first question asks you, a student comment that the box of the female humpback whales is wider than the male. Interpret what this means when considering this sample of humpback male. So this box here represents the interquartile range. This is the this is the lower quartile, this is the median, this is the upper quartile. So if you want to get the box, it's actually the upper quartile minus the lower quartile and that is called the interquartile range, also called the middle 50%. So from the graph, you can see that the female box is definitely bigger than the male box. Okay, so what does it mean? So if it's bigger, it means that they have a bigger variation. The distribution of the data is bigger in the female or the spread is bigger in the female when compared to the male. So for that statement, you will get an achieve. Okay, so the bigger the spread, the bigger distribution, the bigger will be the box. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, the second question, this is a merit question. Okay, the merit question asks you, clearly describe two different features between the distribution of the female and the male. Okay, so there are many ways you can discuss. So I'm going to say, so they ask for two, I'm going to give you three. So you decide which one is the easiest for you. So for the first thing we're going to talk is the symmetry. The symmetry, both the sim both of them are not symmetri symmetrical. If it's symmetrical, the median will lie in between the two lower quartile and the upper quartile. In this case, uh, it's more to the right. So we can say, uh, it looks like that. So we can say the female distribution is skewed to the left because it falls on the left. Similarly, the male, the distribution is falling down on the right. So we say the distribution for male is skewed to the right. So that will be your first point. That will be your first achieve. So if they ask for two, if you answer for two, you'll get a merit. So the second is the spread. We have seen earlier in the first question, the spread for the female, in this case, we put the numbers. So to, uh, the, the upper quartile is 29,766.5 minus the lower quartile is 29,371.5 and the interquartile range or the box is 395 kg. This is definitely bigger than the box for the male or the interquartile range for male, which is, uh, in this case, uh, the male is 20, the uh, upper quarter is 29,600 minus the lower quarter 29,399 and there's only 201. So the interquartile range for female, which is 395, is definitely bigger than 201. So what does it mean? So we can say that the female distribution has a bigger variation or bigger spread than the male. So now we shall proceed to the last one, the center. The center, you can either talk about the mean or the median. So we compare the mean, median. So the median for female is 29.673 and the, male, the median for male is 29.446. Technically, the female has a bigger median than the male and that you can conclude that the female is technically heavier than the male. So that is how you answer the question. So if you get two of them right, you will get a merit in this question. So we shall proceed now. So far so good? Great. Now we shall go on to the last question in this section. Okay. So they ask you, a claim is made in the spring of 2019 
female humpback which tend to weigh more than the male humpback around all the coasts of New Zealand. Comment on this claim based on the samples of whales provided. So we shall look at it now. First, we compare the median. So the median for male or female is around 29,673. You get the number here, median 29,673. And the median, the line in the middle here, the median for male is going to be 29,446. So technically, the female has a bigger median than the male. That's why the male, female tends to weigh heavier than the male. That's the first point. The second point is called the half three-quarter rule. Uh, so, so in this case, the median of the female here and the amount was 29,673 is more than the upper quarter of the male. So the median, which is 50%, is more than 75% of the male. The male, the upper quarter is 29,600. So it's 50% or half the female is heavier than three quarter of the male. Then we can confidently claim that female weigh heavier than male. So that is how you conclude. And if you can get that, you will get another merit in this paper. Okay, let's go for the next type of question. This time it's going to look at a uh, bar graph. Okay, so we shall read the question now. So the question say the Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animal or SPCA in New Zealand has a special open day every year where people are encouraged to visit their local center and take home a pet. So the graph shows a total of 820 and that were taken from one local SPCA on its last open day. So the light colored is the female and the dark colored is the male. So the first question is very simple. What is the probability that the animal taken from the SPCA was a guinea pig? So you have 30 female and 40 male. So total there would be 70. 70 guinea pigs out of the total number of animals, which is 820. So 70 divided by 820. And the answer is going to be 0 0.0854. And that will give you an achieve. Okay. So now we shall look at the next question. The next question is, what is the probability that if a dog is taken, if given that the dog was taken, it was a female. So in this case, we are only interested in the dog. So the dog, we have 230 female and 180 male. So there are only 410 dogs in SPCA. So how many was a, uh, if a dog, a female? So female is the light color. So 230 out of 410 dogs. So they put in a calculator is 0 0.5610 and that will give you a merit. That's an easy merit, isn't it? Great. The last question is the excellence question have a read okay so an article on the internet claim that female animal have more chance than male are uh, taken home on one of these open days evaluate this claim using statistical reasoning and provide at least three comments this is important provide three at least three comments if you give only one comment you get an achieve two valid comment is a merit three or more then you will get an excellent so I'm going to give you four comments, so you choose which one you prefer and put it down in your external. Okay, so first you calculate number of males, so you calculate the males, which is a dark color, 80 plus 180 plus 90 plus 40. The total will come up to 390 out of the total of 820 and it comes up to 0 0.4756. Similarly, for the female, you add 100, 230 plus 70 plus 30 and it comes up to 430 out of 820 and it comes up to 0 0.5244 so technically the claim that the uh, the claim that a female has a more chance of being taken is right because the female has a chance of 52.44% compared to the male which is 47.56% so that is the first answer you're going to uh, to put it down in your exam however Okay, you need to answer that tactically. So you must say the probability of 0 0.4756 and 5244, they are pretty close. And there is not a great difference between the male and female being taken home. Comparing between roughly 48% against 52%, they are pretty close. Okay, so next one we can talk about is 
The data was only obtained from one of the SPCA centres. So, a conclusion about all SPCA in New Zealand may not be valid. Okay, so that was the second point. And the third point is that the data was obtained only from one year. Okay, so it may be different from year to year. So, there again, the conclusion cannot be made from this data alone because one year is not sufficient to make a valid claim. And the last but not least, I've given you the last claim. Data is only for certain animals, the cat, the dog, the rabbit, and guinea pig. Cat, dogs, rabbit, and guinea pig. It doesn't include other animals. So a statement for all animals, again, would not be valid. So that, if you can answer three or four of the valid points in this external, you will get an excellent for this question. So technically, it's just common sense. So if you can answer them, you should be fine. And have a good day, everyone. And see you soon for video number three, which is coming out very, very soon. Cheers, everyone.